I'm Keith Merrill and this is Eric Long and we're here to give you the weekly update on our project. As you know, our goal has been to receive our certificate of occupancy this week and to have our grand reveal or grand opening, ribbon cutting, whatever you want to call it, this coming Monday, November the 4th. So we wanted to give you an update on where we are. We've made a lot of progress this week. I'm going to ask Eric to tell you what we have accomplished this week. So this week we had a lot of our final inspections. So we had finding, final building, final electric, final plumbing, final uh, fire, all those have been passed. And we also had our final health inspection as well, all has passed. So now it's just getting into the details of the fine tuning and making sure that everything's complete so we can open the building. The pub area is pretty much complete. We just do have some lighting that still have to be installed and the final punch list items. The Vista area is pretty much complete. We do have a couple of fine tuning as far as punch list items that will be addressed in the ne next week or so, but uh, it's really looking great in here. The kitchen space are all ready to go and ready to, uh, we actually had the pizza ovens fired up today uh, and very shortly we'll be able to cook some pizzas. So uh, everything's going well and we are planning on November 4th to do our grand reveal uh, as far as the hours of operations, we'll send on Saturday a detailed description as far as the opening and closing of the restaurant. The pro shop will open on Monday, uh, but as far as the detail on the operations, as far as food and beverage, we will have some opening and closing. We do have some fine tuning that has to be adjusted for all those operations. So we'll give you a detailed report on that on Saturday, but today is going to be a, a showcase of everything that's been completed here at the clubhouse. Okay, thank you, Eric. Two weeks ago, we featured the kitchen. Last week, we featured the uh, dining venues and like to talk a little bit about the golf venue today. Well, here we are at the bag drop area. As I, as I have mentioned before, this area is going to be replaced. We're in for permits. We haven't gotten our permits yet. So this area probably won't be redone and finished until late December. However, uh, we are going to rebuild this whole area. I'd like Eric to walk, kind of walk you through what the new golfing experience is going to be when you come here to start your round of golf and also when you're in the middle of the nine holes. Eric? Yeah, so I would normally have Tim here, but he was out on a uh, tournament right now. So as far as what we have here, you'll have a canopy similar to what it looks like as far as our Porca Share area. Uh, it's about a 20, 20 by 20 space. We'll have our, our, our bag drop area all the bags right here podium is where you see it now and then as far as uh, other things we'll have a little stand and then possibly a TV in the future this is still where you come with your uh, golf carts and also your cars and if you come over this way Aga you do have an entrance to get into our roundabout so you can use the restrooms and water station uh, we're gonna demonstrate for you how we'd like you to come up to the new water station so Ian's gonna demonstrate coming up So if you walk up here, we'd like you to make the, this is the roundabout section. And the best way really is to back the golf cart into the spot. Similar to what you see here. And if you need to use the restroom or the water station, you can do that. And it's a nice, easy access. If you don't feel comfortable backing up, you can pull forward. Uh, this is the section where you do drive the golf cart. This section here is where you park the golf cart. So here's a nice description of how it should be. And we'll showcase uh, inside the pro shop now. So once you've parked your golf cart, you're able to use our uh, ice and water stations. We have two located here. We also have the two exterior restrooms. So these are uh, very easy to use when you're uh, going before and after uh, golf. So this is the area that you would use. You don't have to go into the clubhouse in order to use the restrooms. There's a total of two and two. Uh, and then obviously the pro shop is just over to your right. So let's go inside. So welcome to the new pro shop. You can see a lot of the merchandise pieces are in. And then the pro shop desk is getting our computers and point of sale in place. Tracy is very excited as far as putting all the merchandise. We're gonna be doing that on Saturday, Sunday. Tim and his pro shop staff are just getting everything in order as far as the offices. 
and any computers needs for this space. So it's really looking great in here. Obviously, we'll have the finishing touches on this weekend, and then we'll open the, the pro shop on Monday morning. So great things to come. Thanks, Eric, for the update. As you can see, we have accomplished a lot this past week. Uh, this morning, the uh, project committee met with Envirostruct, our general contractor, and we also had Neil Severance, president of our board, with us. And we did a thorough review of what we've accomplished, where we are, and what's left to do. And we made the determination that we want to proceed ahead to open up this place to the membership on Monday at 3 o'clock when we'll have our grand reveal. So I'll please come at 3 in the Portico Share, and uh, we're going to show you this place, which we're quite proud of. Understand we still have things yet to do. It will not be the total finished product. But with all the events upcoming that Eric mentioned, uh, we felt like we need to go ahead and open it up so you can see it, and then he, his staff can get busy uh, doing the final details, getting everything in operation. One final note, people keep asking, we are in the budget. We have not overspent $1, and so we're quite proud of that. And I think you'll be uh, very pleased with what you see on Monday. So come join us. Thank you so much. Thank you.